friends and future re future resellers? No. Fellow resellers. Take two. Hello, all you humans and fellow resellers and puppets. It is I, your cheerleader expert. Redoptionagency.com. 20 plus years selling on eBay. And I'm going to take you through the day today, the whole day. Not the whole day. Please? No, they probably will get annoyed with you. They get annoyed with me. So I'm sure they'll get annoyed with you. But I'm not your hand in front of the camera. I am, I am somebody. Are you really, though? Think about that. Think about that. I am somebody. I am here to show you how to sell on eBay because I am a one month expert. I've been working for one month down here in this dungeon trap, this lovely place, and I know what I'm doing now. And <laughs> what, you tripped? I tripped. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, and, um... Okay, get to work. I'm taking over. But I want to... No, maybe some other day. You can have the whole day when it's, like, a short two-minute video. But, um, please let me... Mm, in the future. I'll let you do it in the future. Promise? I do. Okay, um, I will be back. I gotta get to work, and, uh, I will see you all later, huh? What's going on, everybody? Sometimes I feel like I have no life. But that's all right. All right, I woke up late, man. I slept in. Well, I didn't fall asleep till one, so I still got to put that in there. One lot hat. So three more. I got to get those together today. Um, but I uh, had my first bait and switch. And we'll get into that. And then I also will, <laughs> will uh, tell you about, okay, the last... Yesterday's morning video, I told you about the changes I made to try and uh, make sales better. So I'm going to show you how yesterday ended up, which was positive, and how today is going thus far. And we'll see if it, I don't know if it's a coincidence or if it's because of the changes, but it might be something to look into. So, um, so with the bait and switch, in January, I had a person come in and buy... A cassette tape. I'm sure it was on video. It was like $120, $130 cassette tape. There he is. Mr. Vern. And so she bought that, paid for it. Then she came back in at the end of February and bought a cheaper one. A cheaper cassette tape. Um, and then she opened a return last week. For the $120 cassette that she purchased in January. I'm like, oh, come on. There was nothing wrong with this cassette. I had listened to it. And there was nothing wrong with it. So she said it was messing up on the first song or whatever. And, you know, on hard to find. I questioned it right off the bat. Because especially on hard to find cassettes. That costs that kind of money. Even if there's a little muffle in one of the songs, you're going to keep the cassette because it's it's a it's a prize of your collection. Courtney. So I'm like, ah, oh, that's weird. So it, my first thought was it was probably one of those people who buy the cassette, record it, put it in a digital format, and then return it to get their hundred dollars back. Because there are people on eBay I know for sure that do that. Um. So I'm waiting to get it back. I'm like, man, okay, well, then I'm just going to keep it and make a digital format for myself when it comes back. So normally what I do on certain items, when somebody returns it, I don't even open the return package. I just refund them the money. This one I did not. I'm like, I'm waiting to see uh, what's going on here. So I decided to open it yesterday and go ahead and take care of the refund. And it was the cheap cassette that they bought. In February. I'm like, great. So I look at their feedback, and apparently they done something like this before where they bought uh, several cassettes from somebody, Just opened up a return for all of them, but only sent a portion of them back. Or it was a lot. Maybe it was a lot of cassettes. That's what it had to have been. It had been a lot of cassettes. 
they bought it, open up return to return it, but only returned a few of the cassettes. And the person in the feedback said that they lost their money. I guess they didn't uh, do the proper steps on eBay right to to file a claim because you got if you got to do it exactly or they're not going to okay you. So thankfully, um, I put uh, on the return instead of giving refund, I put you know they the package was exchanged with something else. I sent a picture. The key there, too, is make sure after you upload the picture, you hit the save button. Because if you just hit the send button, and it's kind of down below it, if you just go over and hit the send button, it goes up without a picture. And every time, you know, the uh, the one other time I remember in the past where something weird happened, it was broke. And they didn't uh, accept it because I didn't upload a picture. So I uploaded a picture of the package next to the cassette they sent back. I also sent the item number of the cassette that they sent back, showing that they bought two different items under their seller ID. I saved the picture, sent it in. They sent me an email saying I had to uh, print out a declaration, fill it out, sign it, basically legally stating I am not faking this uh, and signing your name to it. Take a picture of it, upload it back to them, send it back in. They re refunded her, but they didn't take it from me, which is kind of weird. Why you're going to let this person get away with it again? So what I did after that is I, I automatically leave feedback when a person buys. So they had two feedbacks from me from the both cassettes. So I went in and replied to each one of them saying, warning in capital letters, this person tried to bait and switch on a high dollar cassette. And I done that on both of the feedbacks. So if this person does it to another seller, they're going to see there's a history there. And eventually it's going to come back and get this person. So hopefully uh, that will, uh, hopefully just doing that to her feedback, she'll think twice before trying to do it to anybody else. But then again, once a crook, always a crook. Um, so at least until you get caught. So maybe... Her getting caught, kind of. Well, if she got a refund and got the money back, she technically didn't get caught. So, all right. So, if you remember, I uh, changed out my sales and I changed out my promotions. Instead of bulking them in lots together, I broke them down very individual to store categories. I've done that with the promotions and the sales in hopes that it might react better within the algorithm system. Because I was fearing that having all my items basically in one place, well, technically two places, when something went wrong, it would affect my whole store. That maybe if I broke them in sections, maybe the sections will go wrong and not the whole as a whole. Um, so yesterday we did pretty good. The thing is, the amount of items did not really climb up too much. It still looked like there was an issue with organics. But my impressions did jump up huge compared to where they were headed because they were going downhill well there was only 1.5 million 1.5 so we got back up over the 2 million impression point or mark so that was good and then today we're at uh, 10 a.m and maybe organics fixed now because look i've got nine organics i've already got more organics than i did all day yesterday so that could be a positive too so we're already off to a great start today. Um, Got to remember too, when you look at this, like the past few days were pretty low. 597, 6.5. Today, yesterday we hit, did a thousand, but gotta remember 300 of that was one sale. So technically $700 would be the difference. And then today we're already at that so um what like i said i don't know if it's uh something i did or if that organic thing was an issue and now it's fixed or is one caught creating the other who knows but anyway so far i'm not mad at myself for making that change and uh, we'll see how it goes and plays out from here on out but that's my day caught up and i'm going to get this boxed up real quick get these hats boxed up and then we'll get to pull in the new stuff for today She 
She does that often when she'll lay her head on him. <laughs> so cutie. <laughs> All right. All right, first up, let me see if this is updated yet. We got this Mizzou long sleeve t-shirt. So for $6 going to Moberly, Missouri. <laughs> He's taking up both spots today. All right, clear tote 78. We'll do a little digging. Looking for a Titleist hat. Boom. Gotta love knowing textures of hats, knowing that Titleist usually has that kind of a texture on it. Helps out. Makes it a little easier. So we got this Titleist hat going up to Canada. Sold for $10. It's my babies. <laughs> All right, we got these five VHS tapes. Sold as a lot. Sold them for $5. Going to Utah. Um, I want to just thank you guys for watching my videos and stuff. Um, mainly because I just, I, ever since my dad died, I've just been kind of, well, it was, it's weird. It's almost a combination of things. Um, it's, it's like, I've been fighting my whole life to get somewhere. And, uh. I guess allergy season's gonna start coming back here soon. I have to watch him. Um, I've been fighting my whole life for security, you know. Never had that my entire life. Being born where I was and growing up where I did, never really had that sense of security. Um, peace of mind and or financially. And now that I'm here, it's kind of like, now what? What do I do now? But it's even harder with neither parent or my brother. Hold on. So I'm left with... Um, what do I do? What's the point? Where do I go? And I think doing these videos is kind of filling a void right now. <laughs> Giving me uh, something to kind of think about, something to do. And maybe that's why I put so much energy into trying figure out <laughs> figuring out eBay. <laughs> is because I'm just trying to focus myself on something. Because everything around me right now is so new. Feeling wise, you know, security. You know, close family, not around. I mean, I got a sister, but she don't even, she hasn't talked to me since dad passed I've reached out to her but it's all about the money right now and that's the only thing she's talked to me about is part of dad's life insurance which was only $2,500 so it's only $1,250 for her and you know uh, I don't know but that's I don't know I'm just in a new position I just got to realize the journey is more important than any destination. So I just got to enjoy doing these videos and enjoy the day, the sun, what I have, what I've built. And maybe I feel like that's, you know, beyond Jan and the boys, this is all I have now. So maybe that's why I get so uh, emotionally involved when eBay's screwing up. Because I feel like the last thing that 
you know, was a part of me, the business, might be dying or something, or I'm not doing it right, or I'm screwing up, or, you know, which could take away the security and be the last thing that, you know, that I feel is a part of me, so... I don't know. So I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and all that stuff. Because it's just giving me a... Giving me like kind of a new direction to go, I guess. So I appreciate it. I really do. So oh, we got this Lori Morgan Watch Me CD. Uh, going up to Canada, sold for $5.00. C44. Oops, that's over here. Or E44. Pay Put your glasses on properly, James. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's weird when you've been fighting your whole life for one thing and then it stops. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like you're left kind of in limbo. Like, what do I do? You know, where do I go? What, what's, you know, what am I supposed to do now? And trying to figure out that next step and doing it in a totally different way when it comes to the life around you. It's a very weird position to be in. And I'm sure many people have been there and, you know, dealt with it. But it's my first time, so I'm dealing with it and just trying to enjoy uh, every day. So, and doing these videos kind of just brings a little bit of joy to my day right now and probably always will be because i don't know i enjoy what i love what i do so and be able to being able to share that is just <laughs> is just enjoyment also look at this goofball and i love having you know in 10 years from now i have hundreds of videos with these guys so that's cool too. So, all right. The Celtic CD sold for five bucks going to Wichita, Kansas. All right, I got this Maui trucker hat going to Japan, sold for $12. All right, shelf 22. The Bill Dana show on VHS sold for $10 going down to Pea Ridge, Arkansas. Alrighty. We've got the Bellamy Brothers on a track. Greatest hits. Sold for $19. Going to Oklahoma City. Carpenter's local 377 trucker hat. Going to East Alton, Illinois. Right across the river. Sold for $8. Alright, going to Claremont, Florida. Sold for $12. Everyone loves an Irish girl. Women's shirt. Alrighty, we got a kid's Smoky Mountain hat. One of my, probably my top favorite place to go, Smoky Mountains. Uh, going to Forest, Forest Park, Illinois, sold for $12. All right. I remember when this band first came out, well, when they first had their first hit in anyway, Epic, came on MTV. Way back when. Uh, <laughs> Just how, like, wow, what was that? What did we just watch? It was just one of those songs and one of those videos that was, like, epic, if you will. <laughs> and this sold for $5, going to Virginia Beach, Virginia. All right. <laughs> I need to get up there. I know she's going to move. All right. Let me see if I can see it from here. Yay, she didn't move this time. <laughs> All right, Peter Murphy, deep on cassette. Sold for $8, going to Pennsylvania. All right, headed to Maine. We got a workout DVD. Sold for $5. I think this is going to be it since I woke up late. I want to get this stuff to the post office. And then I'll just add the rest to this evening's pool because I am up to date past up to date on items I should have. I've got three hat lots I gotta get together. Two for, was from a viewer and I appreciate the email you sent along with that. That was cool. Um, 
I'll make sure, since you're probably reselling, I'll get you some decent hats in there that you can make some good money on. And we've got another Hastings CD. As you saw when I pulled this, I got plenty of those, and I probably have more in storage. So for 450 this one's going to Texas. All right, so maybe I'll pick this up in the car and give you guys a little drive to the post office. But if you don't stick around for that part of the video, thank you all for the support and the love and uh, the puppy love. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right, here we go. Like that crack in my window? I don't know if you can see that with the glare. It's right there all the way down. That's gonna cost me 800 bucks. <laughs> the 31st of the month, I got, I got an appointment to get replaced. I went to the gas station yesterday. And I was going down the rock road. And little Kia in front of me threw up a little bitty rock. It did, went dink. I'm like, oh, and I'm like looking. I don't see nothing. I'm like, well, at least it's a small. It was a small rock. It shouldn't have done anything. Go into QT. Come out of QT. <laughs> I got this big old long crack in my window. And I'm like, ah. I'm used to replacing my windows like one a year from rock chips. So I haven't replaced one. We got the one in the Volvo repaired before it splintered. So that was good. But uh, I haven't replaced a window in probably three years. So I've done good in the last few years. And I have to pay for it out of pocket because I don't pay for that extra deductible on the uh, insurance. It's not really worth it. So... Uh, because I got a thousand dollar deductible on my insurance so no big deal it happens I just hope it's the last time it happens this year <laughs> but, uh, so I'm wondering left wondering too if making those changes on eBay is actually helping the videos because I know or helping the sales because I know that uh usually takes 24 to 48 hours for changes to fully take effect so keep an eye on it and see if it's you know continues in the upward position if you will or if it's just in a quinky dink quinky dink pop's kitchen's not open yet wait for that to open that's where I get gizzards but we have to go all the way down to St. Anne to get them. Yeah, let's get over here. Get closer up in the line. Oh, no. Fire truck! I wonder if those are the same people that came to help my dad to the hospital same unit anyway it looks like so. but very nice day 71 degrees right now should be able to get on my bike later and do a little get a little exercise in always makes me feel better but now we gotta jump up in front of these slow people <laughs> That still weirds me out. Like, people still wearing... Ooh, there's a hat. I should have grabbed that. I could sell it. He's standing at the bus stop alone, but he's wearing a mask. You know, it's like... Did the media and stuff, you know, inflict so much fear that when you stand alone, you have to wear a mask? Why not? Oh, maybe the bus is out. The bus is there now, so I guess he saw the bus coming. My bad. My bad. But I do see people wear masks, like, still when they're driving alone in the car and stuff. I'm like, why? Why, why, why? If you got the shots, you should be good. I mean, you will you can get it, but it's not... Unless you're elderly with the complications, you're pretty much going to survive it. But, uh... I'll stop by the honey hole 
see if I can make some quick pickups. Um, I was there the other day and I made some good deals and I actually had a manager bringing me something out. So that was good. So I've got a better, another, you know, rapport there. She wasn't there when I was first used to always go. And then also they were complaining about all the CDs and they were going to take them and put them in a cart and I guess maybe ship them out or something. I go, make me a good deal and I'll take them off your hands. So I got a whole cart full of CDs for 30 bucks. So even if I just go in and say hi, I got to keep the rapport going because I told them if you get lots of anything that you just want to move cheap, just let me know. So definitely want to keep going to keep that rapport going. So I'm going to drop these off and thank you all for the support and the watches and the likes and comments. And I will for sure see you in the next video. Later.